Here's the normal human ear on a magnified basis. And we can see here the familiar landmark of the pinna and the ear canal into which the sound waves go. If I take off the part of the skull, now we can actually see nice and clearly how the ear canal works. So the sound waves go down, hit the tympanic membrane here, which is at the end of the ear canal, and then the sound waves go through what's called the middle ear. And this channel here that you might be wondering about, that's the eustachian tube that runs to the back of your throat. When you swallow, it lets air in to keep this cavity behind the tympanic membrane nice and fresh. I can actually just lift this tympanic membrane and the ossicles away so that you can actually now see the middle ear cavity. And if I lift the top, we can now see the organ of balance and the acoustic nerve here that's running into the brain stem. And there's the cochlea, the snail shell structure. So the sound waves come along here through the middle ear cavity where the tympanic membrane and the acicular chain lie and, and into the inner ear and onwards to the brain. And remember that there are two types of uh, common occurring hearing problems. Problems which lie in the conductive part of the ear, in the middle ear particularly, and in the ear canal. Could be, say, impacted wax, for example, and give you a little bit of a loss. Or, more commonly, particularly with adults, the problem lies here in the cochlea and is um, normally called sensory neural hearing loss. Now, when we test hearing, what effectively we do is we get a set of headphones we put the headphone onto the ear and then the sound waves travel all the way through into the brain where they're heard as a whistle. And that's what we call air conduction testing. And remember the other way we do it is using the bone vibrator. And this fits behind the ear on the mastoid bone. And so it stimulates the bone and it goes directly into the inner ear. It misses out the conductive part of the hearing mechanism completely. So if we find the hearing is down for the bone conduction and down for the air conduction, the problem must lie in this part here. If we find that the bone conduction, for example, is normal, but the headphone test is down, then the problem lies in this part, the conductive part that's usually amenable to treatment. So sensory neural problems lie in the inner ear and generally what happens there when we find a problem is that we look at fitting modern digital hearing aids. If we find a conductive problem, particularly with children, we'd refer on for a medical specialist to take a look and decide what the most appropriate treatment would be to rectify that problem and get them hearing normally again. So that's your actual hearing and balance system, all in one. And as we've said in a number of our videos about testing, the, all, the whole point is, let's figure out how the hearing of this particular person compares to normal. If there is a problem, why is there a problem? And if there is a problem, what is the solution to getting people back hearing well?